Okay, I'm going to be teaching the closed basket weave ankle taping, and this taping is for inversion ankle sprains. Supplies that you need will be tough skin, pre wrap, these two are optional, heel lace pad, and then one and a half inch tape are what you'll need to do this taping. So to start off with, you're going to check the area, make sure it's clean, dry, and shaven. If there's any cuts, cover them. You're going to put them into a dorsi, 90 degrees of dorsiflexion, and they have to hold this position for their entire taping. You'll then take, you can spray it down, I'm not going to spray it down for her, but after you, if you do that afterwards, you're going to apply your heel and lace pads. One goes over the anterior tib tendon, right on the front side of the ankle there, and one goes on the Achilles tendon in the back of the heel. If you decide to do pre-wrap, you'll then just apply the pre-wrap. There's no rhyme or reason to applying pre-wrap. You just get it, the area covered. And once you're done with pre-wrap, then you'll actually do, do the structure of the team. So the first things that you do are you're going to apply anchor stripes. If you do pre-wrap, make sure that tape is um, halfway on the skin. So one anchor strip that's going to be at the area where the ga ga gastroc muscle meets the Achilles tendon. And you're going to apply two anchor strips there, overlapping by half. Then you're going to go down onto the foot and apply two anchor strips on the foot as well. Again, overlapping by half. Once you have your anchor strips on, you're going to apply your stirrup. For an inversion ankle sprain, so inversion means the ankle turns inward like that, you want to protect the structures on the lateral side of the ankle. So the goal of the ankle taping is to keep that foot in eversion. So your strips should go from medial to lateral. On the medial side, you're going to start it just below the malleolus. You're going to come across the bottom of the heel and pull up on the lateral side. The reason why this ankle taping is called a basket weave is because you're going to weave your stirrup with your horseshoe. So your next strip is called the horseshoe and you come from the anchor strip that is on um, the foot. You're going to come below the medial malleolus, come behind the heel, and then back up to your anchor strips. You're going to apply another stirrup overlapping your previous one by half, again going medial to lateral, and then another horseshoe, overlapping your previous horseshoe by half, and then your last stirrup, going medial to lateral, overlapping by half. another horseshoe, and now you've applied your three stirrups and horseshoes. Once you've done that, you are going to just um, continue up the leg with the horseshoes, overlapping by half to just close out the taping. As you move up the leg, you're going to have to change the angle of your tape. When I'm up near the calf, the top part of the calf, the angle of my tape is facing this direction upwards. And if you notice when I was down by the ankle, my tape was face, facing downwards. That's so that you do not wrinkle your tape. You do not want wrinkled tape that will cause blisters. So once you've done that, then you're going to move into your heel locks. There's four heel locks total. You're going to do a lateral heel lock, a medial heel lock, lateral heel lock, and a medial heel lock. So the lateral heel lock, you start on the medial side of the foot, over that navicular bone. You're going to pull down, come across the heel, back behind the heel, and then up into the leg. So that's your lateral heel lock. Medial heel lock, you start, in essence, where you ended with your, with your lateral heel lock. So you start up on the leg for this one. You come down behind the leg, cross the bottom of the heel, and back up along the foot. So you have two heel locks right there.
then you're going to repeat your lateral heel back again. So coming off the medial side of the foot, down, across the heel, back behind the heel, up the leg. Then you're going to do your medial one, which is starting up on the leg, on the lateral side of the foot, come behind the leg, across the heel, and pulling up on the lateral side of the foot. Once you have your four heel locks in place, you're going to do figure eights. Um, you're going to start on the medial side of the foot. Similar position to your lateral heel lock, but your angle of your tape is different because instead of coming down at an angle at the heel, you want to come across the foot. Hold on, got a wrinkle. Got to change my angle there a little. You're coming across the bottom of the foot and you're making a circle around the foot. So I started here, came across the bottom of the foot and made a circle, and then you continue into your figure eight, which is making a circle around the low, lower leg. You'll do two figure eights. So making a circle around the foot, circle around the leg. And once, with, once you're done with that, you are done with the actual taping of an ankle and then it's a matter of making it look pretty, closing it out, so you're just going to do strips moving up the leg. And you can do one final strip on the foot. Once you're done with the taping, you ask the athlete if it's comfortable and you check for function of it and make sure it's going to prevent the inversion of the ankle. So that is how you do a closed basket weave ankle taping. To avoid confusion, here's a closer look at the heel locks that go with the closed basket weave ankle taping. So the, the, we're going to start off with the lateral ankle or the lateral heel locks. Start on the medial side of the foot over that navicular bone, and you're going to come down at an angle towards the heel. You then come across it and go behind the heel, and then come up and finish up on the leg. Then to do the medial, you start up on the leg, angling your tape down, and come behind the leg with it, across the bottom of the heel, and then up. And if you get wrinkles in your tape, I just corrected a little bit, but if you get wrinkles in your tape, that means your angles are wrong and you need to correct it. So an example would be of wrinkles in the tape would be, so if I have that gapping right there and I come up, that's going to cause the tape to bunch together, which can cause blisters, or if you're on this side. If you're having gapping there, or it's just not looking right, and you're getting all kinds of wrinkles, it just means you need to work on the angle. The initial angle of your tape is incorrect. You just need to change that angle in order to smooth that tape out. And that's a closer look at the heel.